0.4 kilometres away, the McDonald's. <laughs> he's got weight. He's got Wade's trousers on. Worthless. <laughs> 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 he's got Wade's chaps on. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're crazy. They are worthless. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's a girl, is it? Oh yeah, it's an old bird. Looks, so, so it looks like Wade as well. <laughs> I think it looks like he's got a leak. Got a leak? No, it's not been leaking. It's bone dry under there, yeah, every night. There's a small little patch and I just don't know what it is. Yeah. I, wonder if it's, I wonder if it's just engine wax. It's not leaking nothing. Yeah. Oil well, still seems fine. But... Keep, we'll keep checking it. Which way we're going? I'm just moving a bit just for the sat and have to pick up a route. The finger licking chicken sucker. Did it? No, I don't know. I'd imagine we've got to go this way, haven't we? Don't ride over what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> what a cracking little square this is. There's nothing coming if you want to come up there, boys. Well, the bus is coming. The yep. bus is already well, gone. Once the bus has come, there's nothing coming. Come on. We can't have gooses turned down there. Yep, there's nothing coming. Nothing coming. Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah. You know when I said the law doesn't apply to us? When I said the law doesn't apply to us, you obviously didn't listen to me, did you? <laughs> <laughs> right, so it says McDonald's is... It's somewhere around here. Trouble is, we'll probably be in Woods of Park. We'd be in each city centre. Yeah, it looks... We've got to turn left, down here. Left. That made me laugh that dude, you can't go down there. Just one way as well. I don't know mate. No. Just hang on fellas, hang on. Must be somewhere around here. But I don't know where. We're going the wrong way aren't we? I don't know. Well, you could have to hang fire. I've no idea where you've gone. Right, got you. <laughs> Beautiful place. At least we're getting to see the city. Well, why don't we just uh, get out of the city and just find one on, on our route? The next, well, the next one is 49 kilometres away. Well, don't just don't just get the nearest one. Just crack on our crack on our route, and we'll come to, we'll come to one of no doubt. Not, not for breakfast, you won't. It'll be dinner time by then. <laughs> so, Bear, are you, are, are you asking me that or telling me that? 
flashed. Are you not understanding the bit where we can do what we want? You're in a bus lane, so you can't. Yeah, yeah we, we can't, can't stop. You can't here. stop there, you're in a bus lane. You can't stop. <laughs> There's a bus coming. I'll tell you what, all this you can't, you can't. You get them off nerves. <laughs> no, no entry, it says, right. Let's go on the car park. On the car park. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's like riding with a bunch of <laughs> Oh, you can't, oh, you can't. You can't even... <laughs> well. <laughs> We're all split up now. Oh, you can't. Oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like you've come down an illegal road there, mate. Uh, I, think we were, I think we were right. I think, I think we came on the path. <laughs> We've got to go out the way you've just come in. We've come in the correct way. It's free parking, you know. <laughs> Are you checking noodles place today? <laughs> <laughs>
Me, I'm trying to look. Oh. Flash, is, flash drove away with his box lit up. So Hold on, I can't hear you. Let me take my earplugs out. What did you go? Did you go straight over that bollard? I think it come up just as I think it's going right, just past it and when it come up. Alright. Oh, then you knocked him off. The bollard to come up in the middle. The one in the middle. Yeah, these bollards actually come up and down, right there, see it. Well, where were they? As we, as we drove out onto the main road, there was one there. There was one there. Flash has got his box lit up. Him, remember, push so down. I pushed it down, and then some bloke got off his chair and he's saying he's pointing toward the side of his bike. I said, You go to the left, I'll come round and have a look at it to see if it was. Um, to see if it was okay, in case there's something else wrong with it. And all of a sudden, I'm being f***ing launched into the air. Come crashing down, smack me f***ing head on the, yeah. on the dash side on here. I got it through, and he just behind me, it went up. So I only just missed it. My wheel have caught it, then I slipped off it. I think that's going to break the seal now, isn't it? Shall we get off here? Shall we get off? Some very nice French pit that up and abandoned it to me. Let's get on here. I'm worried about a flashing bike. I didn't see that, and I've gone over it and bang, it's fucking... No, 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 no. Shit. It's inside of you, so look what that bloke was talking about. Yeah. And I didn't see the thing in the road and it lifted me. Yeah, they knocked me off. Oh, I didn't come on, they didn't come. Huh? Oh, yeah, they come out of the ground, that's what we said, don't go yeah, over them. Yeah, I come. Them things are lifting bus up in the air. Right, we've now got big problems. Big, big problems. The tyre's losing its pressure, I think. Huh? I think the tyre's losing pressure. It's lost pressure. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. I might be able to get it round. Yeah. For sake. Just reverse back up. Hey up Roy. He's reversing. Go on mate. Go on. Go on. Hey dear. It's just cut there, isn't it? In the UK, if you break down, they, they, they send AA out. Over here, they would contact them, or we contact them, and they should come out. They sh it should be covered, she said. If it's not, there'll be a, a minimal charge. But we'll not know until they come out to look at it. Charge for what? The recovery? No, <coughs> no, charge for it, if it can be repaired or what. Oh, right. We've got nothing to lose. Since I bought, this, I bought it, it's second hand. You still, when you buy a brand new wick, you get three years. Yes, I did it's second hand. It doesn't matter if the bike, as long as the bike's still under three years, there's still yeah. warranty with yeah. it. Oh, right. Whether you bought it second hand or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so we've had a bit of a major catastrophe. We've had a bollard come up and hit Albie's bike from underneath and lifted him up. It's completely, well, not completely, it's buckled the rim. So, me and um, Bear, we're off to find, well, we've found a wheel refurbishment place. We're moping. They might be able to repair the wheel, but we don't know. And they close pretty soon, so. Ah, oh, God. Luckily enough, it's it's only done damage to the wheel. Considering how it lifted the bike up, it could have completely wrecked the bike. Could have smashed the underside of the engine. But it looks like it's lifted his front wheel up and just buckled the wheel. So if we can get a refurbishment done without getting him recovered home, hopefully we can get him continued on this tour. So, we'll let you know how we get on. Here it is. Oh, 
bollocks. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Don't, um, don't let it piss you off. You know, we're having a good tour up to now. We will. We'll work it out. We'll work it out somehow. What about tonight's or cancel tonight's hotel at Limoges? See if we can reboot where we've just stayed. See if we can get Albie's bike recovered, and then Albie jumps on the back with somebody. All we need to do is just regroup, think about it, think about the situation, and we'll work a solution out. Well, still in uh, Chartres, we came over for breakfast this morning at McDonald's and yeah, everything was going great, absolutely fine. When we went to leave, um, that's where the drama started happening. Well, anyway, this what, what happened was, as we pulled away, um, Flash left his trunk open, his uh, top of the lid. So I caught out of him and said, whoa, whoa, hang on. He was only literally just creeping just out of here before we got to the main road. <coughs> and um, stopped, locked it up for him. And then some guy got off of that bench that's over there, he was there, and he started pointing at Flash's bike to the right hand side of his bike, going, oh, no, no, all in French, obviously. And uh, but Flash said, I can't hear you, I can't understand, I can't hear you. So as we came out, just as we was coming out here, I said to I said to Flash, as we come out, because we're going to come round this piece round here. But as I said, as you come out, go to the left. I go to the right, and I'll have a look at your bike to see what's wrong with it. Well, anyway, as I did, we've got these bollards that come up out the ground, and uh, that one at the moment is right all the way up. You see it, the one with the red light on, right over there behind the fountain, just over there. Well anyway, as I went over it, because I was so busy, wasn't concentrating, I was looking at Flash's bike, trying to get a look at Flash's bike and get to the side of him. As I went over it, it, it come up. It literally come out the ground. Caught my wheel, tipped me over to the side, went up in the air, tipped me over to the side. I managed to almost drop the bike, I just managed to pick it, get my foot down and lift it over. But um, as it come down with a thump, I, my head hit the handlebar where I hit me cup, knocked me vise off, knocked me camera off. As I went down, the throttle went on. Started to go to managed to shut it off and put the brake on. But then, uh, then all of a sudden, wheel front wheel started doing this. Air's all gone out the front wheel. As I've landed, smashed the rim. The rim is smashed. And, uh, caused the problem and it's knocked the air out so this is what we're looking at see down here just down there we've got a nice ripple in the rim same on the other side this side's not so bad but that's lucky didn't drop it no other damage controlled it really well got my camera back got my visor back off my lid um, it's just annoying because we've been here all day since trying to sort it out and that happened at about 11 o'clock it's now what getting on for two I think it is oh. now getting on for two o'clock ten to two so I'm waiting for a breakdown long another long story short I was gonna call my ROC breakdown that I've taken out but Bear, bless him, had a brainwave. He said, well, why don't you call Honda UK? See what they can do well. So he did. Called Honda UK. Anyway, because the bike's still under warranty, they've, uh, they've got the ball rolling. And uh, 
what's happening now is they're arranging for the bike to be recovered via the AA. They're going to take it to the bike shop. Unfortunately, the bike shop don't open until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So what we've got to do now is um, when the breakdown truck comes, hopefully that'll drop me. I oh know, we sorted out transports, doesn't matter. When that comes, they will take my bike and take the wing and put it in storage until tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll take it to the bike shop, the Honda dealer, which is only about 10, 10 or 15 minutes from here. Then they'll assess it, have a look at it, see where it can be repaired. If it can be repaired, obviously they'll do it or replace the wheel. But if it's going to take too long or cost too much, then that's it, my, my, my trip's over, my other day's over. I'll be, be getting re, repatriated back home. Me and the bike will be going back home and the boys will carry on with the journey. We've got a few little plans that we're thinking of we could do if, if it's not going to take too long and it's not going to cost too much to get it sorted. If we can get it done, then we can carry on our journey. I can use one of the other guys' bikes. I can use Goose's bike. Goose said he'll go on a back ride pillion with Piggy so that we can still at least do the journey and all be together. And then we can pick the wing up on the way back and ride, ride it home and everything's good. But we won't know that till tomorrow. So we've got to wait until tomorrow to find out what's going on. So we're going back to the hotel we stayed in last night because they still got rooms. We did have a day spare, which means because we should have been going to the next place where we was going to today. And we had two days, two nights there. So we had a spare day there tomorrow. Just to, like I said in the video earlier, like I said in my vlog earlier, so that we could do that. Um, but now, lucky we had that spare day, because now we've lost that spare day. We ain't going anywhere today, so we're just staying here now. So, once we've, um, once we've found out what's happening, I'll either carry on or I won't. Simple as that. So, just bad luck. One of those things. But, what can you say? So while I'm waiting for the breakdown truck, Bear and Dab ID are waiting for me. We're all going to ride back together. Goose has left me his bike to go back on. Um, he's gone back on the back with Piggy now. They've all gone back to the hotel. But we're going to wait for the breakdown truck. When that comes, takes the bike away. Then we'll go back to the hotel, spend the day there. Instead of having tomorrow as a day off, we're going to have today as a day off. So I do feel really bad though. You know, I know that all the guys, absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys, I love you all a bit, I really do. And I know it's, we come together, we stay together, we go home together. And I love all of that. But it still doesn't stop me feeling bad that I've got ruined the day. So Goosey's going on back with Piggy? Yep. I hope he's going to ride Right, so the plan is we're heading back to the hotel. We've booked the same hotel we was in last night. Uh, I'll be staying here with Bear and Davoidi. They're going to um, wait for Alby to get the bike picked up. So we're going to spend the, the night in the same hotel. We've got a pool table there. We've cancelled the hotel tonight in Limoges and we can always head down to Limoges tomorrow. So this is the barrier here, that's the barrier in front of this van which demolished Albi's bike. Right, we're going to be turning left here. So it's a bit tricky. So we're doing, our day off is going to be here in Chartres. And hopefully we get some good news tomorrow that they might be able to sort Albi's bike. And if that's the case, we can carry on as normal. If not, and it might take a couple of days, we can go back. We can get into Limoges, and then we come back up this way to pick Albi's bike up. Worst case scenario is Albi has to go back with the bike, but we're not going to look at that scenario yet. And we did say to the guys, he's had the best bad luck you can have, because all that's done is damage the wheel. If he was probably a couple of inches more forward, it would have it would have hit the engine. It would have just smashed the bottom of the bike. The bike would have gone straight over. Albi could have been underneath the bike. It's ten, ten even worth thinking about. Yeah. So in one way, it was the best bad luck he could have. It is only just the wheel. 
nobody got hurt. Right, we're back. We're back at the same hotel. Right, let's go and get unpacked again. Police come and had a look at what was going on this morning. They see us over at the cathedral. They weren't bothered that we was there, even though it was part where we shouldn't be. We was nice to them, that was nice to us, all lovely, thank you. And all the boys were parked in here, and you're not supposed to park in here, in this area, because it's pedestrians, really. It's just everything else is out there. But um, because the boys were all waiting, he said to them, just park your bikes along there. He said he was quite happy for them to leave them there while I'm waiting for recovery. So they could all stay with me. So he was really nice, lovely John Dom. So really thank thankful for that. Watch this space. And I'll give you an update tomorrow as soon as I know anything. Alright, gutted, really gutted, my poor bike. <laughs> but it's meant to be, it's meant to be, I guess. So I'll update you tomorrow. Alright, speak to you then. Bye bye for now. Is everything yeah. closed on Monday or is today uh, a holiday? Yes. 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 Everything closed. But, but, but is today holiday? Uh, uh, so it's sector. Yeah, there you go. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> My baby! <laughs> My baby! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Four tour time. Oh, I like this man. <laughs> I said good morning to him right at the start of the morning. I did. <laughs> Top man. Come on, get in. Get in. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. You're very wonderful. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What I said. Oh, where did she go? She gone round there. <laughs> <laughs> what I what I said for for a laugh, yeah, for put the handcuffs on you. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's my son. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah. But thank but, you, honestly. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very wonderful, police thank people. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on now. Yeah. So, yeah. We, I'd like to say, so. I hope to see, hope to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, where's she going? There goes my little girl. Taking her away to the for storage tonight. Oh, my little girl's going. Oh, I feel so sad. Little baby. Where's she going? Is he coming this way? Yeah, yeah, he's bringing her this way. There she goes. Hopefully, we can get her fixed and get her back tomorrow. Where did he go? He go a different way. There she goes. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye, baby. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, well, I will see you tomorrow. But hopefully, whether or not I'll get you fixed. <laughs> they were really nice, weren't they? The police. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were so patient with us. He was just, I saw him first thing this morning when we were talking about us. I said, Good morning, good morning, yeah. straight to him. So hopefully that brought us a bit of, um, bit of respect from him. Well, there she goes, she's off. Fingers crossed she'd be in the morning. I said to the guy, Can you make sure she's there for nine o'clock? He went, Mmm, like this. I said, Well, please do your best. I said, Because either I can go on or go home. So off to the bike shop, <laughs> back to the hotel now. We'll go to the bike shop in the morning, see if she's there, and get a rundown on it, get a low down, see what's wrong. And hopefully it'll be alright, and we can get it fixed. If not, we'll be going home. So. Fingers crossed again, watch this space. It is what it is, I guess, but 
can't do any more now. Just hope he gets her there safe. And we get her repaired and get her home. I'm really gutted, really sad. I'm really fed up with what I've made the boys miss their day today. I'm really emotional as well because I love my bike, man. It's, I don't have it towed away. Uh, oh well. It's what it is. All right, catch you guys later and uh, we'll see what goes on. Catch up with you tomorrow. All right, take it easy, everyone. I'll be out. Love you all. Bye. Frogs, legs, and chips. And I wanted to give you. I, I wanted to give you what you wanted. What are you taking? Come here. So we've come all the way to France, and we're having an Indian. <laughs>